ba bam bam ba ba bam bam fifty great short stories number twenty two today's short story is called the man of the house da 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 because I like it all right let's get this out fifty great short stories sick all right today is called the man of the house because apparently our story starts off with our character doesn't really specify if it's a girl or a boy because apparently well this child goes ahead and does things also all your characters genders are specified does we don't really know it's a boy or a girl also most people imagine a boy because it's like the title's the man of the house. So the story goes uh, with this boy, our little boy protagonist, with a guy with like a person, and he is just a child. He just he's just getting ready for school, and then suddenly he hears his mom coughing. He hears it all, and he's all, and then he goes downstairs and sees that his mom is trying to light a fire. And then her, his mom's like, "Don't worry about me, little kid. I'm gonna do it myself. I can do it myself. I can take care of myself." Mom, let me light the fire. I can do it myself. And like, ah, Trudy, you should be going to school. No, Mom, you need you need to go into bed. You're sick. And I, like, I guess so. And then she's relieved. And then she just goes to bed. And then, and he, then he gets the other kids to go ahead and go to school. And they're like, you better get down here, Sullivan. Yeah, apparently his name is Sullivan. Or else you're gonna get killed. And they're like, I uh, know. I have to stay home. My mom is sick, and I need to become the man of the house. Oh, really? Okay, see ya. See ya sometime soon. Yeah, see ya. That all happens and other things start happening well and well and well. So what happens next is all this starts working out and then Sullivan goes ahead and is given a shopping list. Of course, he makes his own breakfast, of course, and he eats it on his own. And then his mom's like, ah, it should be good if I have some tea. And he's like, I'll make some tea for you. Makes it a bit too strong. He's like, it's a bit too strong. And he's like, ah, yeah, I made it too, too strong. It's okay. It's, uh, yeah. And then his mom's like, I'm an old nuisance. It's okay, child. It's okay. And then, of course, later ahead, he's given a shopping list to get stuff. So the shopping list is given, and he goes ahead and buys some eggs. Of course, he only knows how to work with eggs. Well, of course, other than that, other things are happening too. With that, some things start working out. Uh, he's also told to get a sausage, apparently, because, like, just in case, she's well enough to cook. Ta-ding! So yeah, of course, with all that happening, there's a bunch of other things to actually go ahead and do. So this sick mom business happens, and then he becomes the man of the house, and then he goes away for a while, goes to church, and starts praying, And he, because he's told, like, you go out and play, man. Go out. It's okay. I'll be okay. And then he tries to go to the woods and realizes, hey, I'm going stri- to str- stray into temptation. No, no, no. He goes ahead, goes away from the woods, and some- to the church, when he prays and prays, and says, I will buy you a candle. If I get a penny, and then that happens, he's given an allowance of a penny, and then he's sent to the uh, shop. He's sent to the shopkeep. He's sent to the medicine guy, the uh, brewer, because apparently this brewing system seems to start working out really great. Next thing that I know that happens is that they just realize that they probably made a big mistake because apparently people are just going ahead and doing their own thing. Meaning this, what does it mean? What it means is that these people just. So the boy Sullivan goes ahead, sends to the brewer. The brewer just takes the list and then just sl- and then slams the door shut. And he's like, "Knock!" And he's about to knock again when the girl next door is like, "Ah, you gotta wait for him. You gotta wait. You gotta wait for your turn. He's gotta make it. It's gonna take a while." So they start talking, and then a tonic comes out. And then just as the boy's about to t- say something, he shuts the door again. And then, well, the, the brewer says says the girl's name apparently. Next thing that I know that happens is that hey, okay, it's mine. It's a tonic. It's from my sister, and yeah. And then he gets his cough medicine. And he's like, "Can't try yours." And like, why can't you try yours? He's like, eh, tonics are terrible. Cough drop medicines are really sweet. And he tries it. He's like, yeah. I don't really like medicine because they're just too sweet in my opinion. Too, too, too sweet. And then barf it all up. That happens, and then. And then he's like, ah, yeah, yeah, you can try mine. And like, eh, yeah, you try some yourself. And then there's a little sliver of a little deaf left. And he's like, ah, yeah. And then the girl's like, give us some more. And he's like, nah, and then it'll be all gone. Nah, you got gallons. And like, fine. And he went ahead and did it. And he said, I have a penny. And then he spent it all on sweets just to impress her. And then once he ate it all, he's all like, Oh no, there's no more medicine. Balls and balls and balls and balls and balls. And then he's like, it's okay, just tell her that the cap fell off. 
No, the medicine's all gone. My mom's too sick. And now without the medicine, she's gonna die. He went ahead, bawling at home. He went to the angel first and s said sorry about her. And that he'd get a candle the next time he had a penny. If her, his mom would be okay by the time he went home. He went home and his mom's condition seemed to be increasing. And he went to did things and he went to the bed. He went to her bed and then she said, Ah, lie down, child. And he did. And But before the time that he even, she even tucked her in, helped him in, she was already asleep. And then he didn't hear her mom undress. Apparently it was her bed, undress and all those kinds of things. But apparently he just woke up and then he saw his mom with the carousel but before that he saw the woman he saw the woman who was taking care of her well they, who they hired to take care of her and said ah ha, ha, she's gonna he's gonna sleep it off tomorrow it's okay yeah it's like judgment he, she's judging me however when his mom came back with a good smile and a good good healthy face she's all he's all like ah the miracle happened yay that's it that's the end of course there's a lot of reasons to actually like this story itself the man in the house it's a story about coming of age. Well, not exactly coming of age. This guy's 10 years old. But the thing is, it just shows that you can be anything you want to. As long as you actually learn. Also, these situations always happen. So, it's best to prepare for the worst. Next thing that we actually have to do is that a bunch of bias happens here. A lot of people actually just assume that since you're a kid, you're just going to do it. And since you're like a kid, you're just going to have to, you're going to try to get out of the house. And if you're alone as a kid, then you're probably up to no good. Which is... Usually not the case, especially not this kid. He's so good. He's so kind. He's so perfect. At least for the mom's case. And of course, he's also perfect in his own way too. Everything seems to be going his way. Everything seems to be going that way. And everything is just awesome, great, delicious, and awesome. That's about it. So of course, with all that, here are a lot of things that actually go ahead with the story too. You can learn a lot of things from the story too. Like temptation is too big. And sometimes you're going to have to stop that temptation too. Other times is that you're just going to have to go ahead and do some less bias too. You're going to have to bias people less. Just because they're a kid doesn't mean they're up to no good. Also, just because they're a kid and they're unsupervised, it might have a possibility of them up, going up to no good. But if you know them pretty well enough, then you're probably good. But just don't assume things at the start. That's about it. So, yeah. One thing I did learn from this story is that, you know, it actually also kind of reminds me of my experience. But my mom was a bit sick. Uh, we just went to, we were sick. She just went, I just had to do a bunch of things by myself. Also, I didn't really have to cook by myself. She just ordered the food here because I don't know how to cook anything other than eggs. Sounds familiar. And we didn't have eggs in the house. We went ahead and did a bunch of things. I just went ahead and did my homework and everything. And then she she just lay in bed thinking that it was like a disease. And then when she realized it was just a kidney stone, I was like, ah, come here, man. That's about it. So hopefully you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys soon. Until next time, shout out. Peace. Bye-bye. Please wear a helmet. See ya next time. Bye-bye. Da-da-dun. Da-da-dun. Da-da-da-da-da-da-dun. Da-da.